Now to the latest on the bridge fire burning in the Angeles National Forest. It has more than doubled in size, prompting evacuation orders for parts of Mount Baldy. KTLA's Eric Spillman live now in Mount Baldy, a village with more. Eric, good morning. Good morning, Jessica. Yeah, a lot of people here in Mount Baldy Village are a little bit nervous because the fire is sort of just over the hill here and they've been told to evacuate, but not everybody is. Let's meet uh, Nancy and Jerry here. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so let's quickly show a map of where this fire is burning. It's burning uh, the bridge fire, they're calling it, burning it in the uh, Angeles National Forest, sort of north of Claremont and San Dimas. Um, to the southwest of Mount Baldy. And this area here, you were told to get out at around 5.30 last night as a precaution, but you're not going. Well, not yet, but we are prepared. We did pack up last night and then we had some logistics to deal with in terms of boarding pets and finding out where we were gonna stay. So we opted to uh, stay overnight and then we'll, we'll be moving on this today. This is a, a 3,000 know, acre fire that is burning out of control. It's 0% surrounded. It doubled in size. They're not quite sure how it started. started on Sunday. You've lived here a while. You've seen fires come through. Does that, uh, does that make you decide, maybe I'll wait it out a little bit or, or make me, maybe not move as quickly as you might otherwise? Uh, maybe a little bit when you don't see the big column and the fire red skies and the high winds blowing calms you down a little bit but like she said we're in the process of packing her up and as soon as we can catch that darn cat <laughs> looking for the cat <laughs> <laughs> we'll be probably leaving so there, there's something about the weather forecast today it's going to be cooler but you, you've heard that there's winds in the forecast too and that that's got to be a little unnerving Right, so that offshore wind now that's coming up is going to you know, increase that wind coming up the canyon. So that definitely gets our attention in regards to um, you know, knowing what fire is going to do when it's pushed by wind and then you know, getting into that topography that's going to really increase that, the heat, preheating and fire spread. What are most of your neighbors here in Mount Baldy Village doing? Are they staying or are they evacuating? <laughs> I think it's kind of a mix. Like she said earlier, probably families with kids, they're probably on top of it. A lot of the other folks without the kids, and they've been in here like years and years and years, they're probably just sitting tight for a while. And then as soon as they see that smoke coming over the hill, they'll be out. Where are you going to go after this? Where are you going to go later today once you find your cat and pack up your car and get all your belongings out of here? We're, we're lucky enough to have our sister-in-law in Norco, so we're going to head out toward the other fire, but we have a place to stay there. So I know um, other people, there's, you know, the motels down in Claremont or family members and friends. So. And are you, I mean, you're going to leave behind this house where you've lived for 20 years. I mean, how difficult must that be to not really know what's going to happen and to, and to leave? Yeah, that's a challenge, you know, I mean, certainly emotionally, you know, you don't want to lose everything, but, you know, I think that we've been able to pack up a lot of the things that are memory items and basically everything's replaceable, but obviously human, you know, humans aren't replaceable, so we'll be all right. All right, well, I wish you the best. Thank you so much for talking to us. I hope you find your cat. Yeah, thank, thank you. <laughs> all right, thanks again. We'll, we'll send it back to you in the studio.